Hi, if you guys have been following me from the beginning, once in a while I make videos on optimizing your operating system for audio, and I haven't made one of those videos in a while. Some of you guys are still on Windows 7 or older versions of Windows, and that's fine. Windows 10 came around and they kind of locked everything down. They forced you to take automatic updates. They forced you to use their firewall. You can temporarily disable it. Upon reboot, it comes right back. And that's pretty annoying. Before creating this video, I decided to enable all the services. The reason I did that, I want to show you guys how to disable all of that permanently. The firewall and the antivirus that are built in into Windows really don't bother me. But the automatic updates and the force of the updates, that does. It's happened in the past where an update can break your system. If it breaks your system, you're screwed, especially if you're in the middle of a project. So you probably noticed by now that they removed control panel. It's almost impossible for you to get there. There's some registry mods. You can even make an icon on the desktop to get there. But I'm going to show you an easy way. You can either type it right here at the search box, or you can right-click the start menu, go to run, type it here. If you don't want to do all of that, Windows R on your keyboard, type control panel, press OK. The good thing about it, once you do that, it's always going to stay there unless you remove it. So you don't got to constantly type it. But if you want to make an icon on your desktop, just Google it. Very simple. I'm not going to show you that in this video. So let's talk about Windows Defender Firewall. So if we click that, turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off, click that, you can easily just turn it off here. And there you go. Very simple. Yeah, you're going to get this message here, but we'll deal with that later. But I don't want to turn that off. Not this way. I'm going to keep that on. Now, the Windows Defender Firewall really doesn't bother me. The two things that I really don't want is the antivirus and the automatic updates. The firewall, I could deal with that. So I'm going to keep that on. So let's go back to control panel. If you take a look around here, there's really no way to get rid of the antivirus. Older versions of Windows, I would have told you guys, go into administrative tools, go to services, and hunt down the services that you want to disable. So if you wanted to look for the firewall, you can just type the W key. Look, Windows Defender Firewall. You have startup type, automatic disabled. You choose any of those and you can apply, but you can't stop the service. It's grayed out. Same thing for the Defender service. So we click that. You can't even change the startup type. They're forcing you to keep it on. But let's get rid of all of this. So Microsoft made this extremely easy for you to find the feature to disable this thing. So we go to Start Menu, Settings. We click Update and Security, Windows Security, Virus and Threat Protection. Let's maximize this. We got to click Settings. We got to click Virus and Threat Protection Settings. And here we go. Now you can actually disable this thing. So we're going to disable that. You can get rid of whatever you want here. If you don't want cloud delivery protection or any of other stuff, just disable it. Once you restart, it's going to come back. Remember I showed you guys all the services? You can't modify that. So according to those settings, when you reboot, it's going to turn this back on. Not good. So let's turn that back on and let's get rid of this. So as you can see, really simple. Microsoft made it super easy for you to find this. Before I show you how to disable this thing, I want to give you some information. I did IT a couple of years ago. We had around 60 computers. And the one thing that companies love to do, remove administrative privileges, filter out websites. You guys probably know what I'm speaking about. And the way we would do this is with Active Directory and Group Policy. By using those tools, we can lock down all the computers at once instead of walking to each individual computer. So if you have a studio and you want to know how to do something like that, contact me be more than happy to help you out. We only have one computer, so we don't need Active Directory. We're still gonna use the group policy option, which is extremely powerful. All right, so enough of that, let's go to group policy. Very simple, same way. Wanna open the run box? The way I like to get there is MMC. There's other ways, but I've been doing it this way for so long, it works for me. Maximize, you wanna go to file, add, remove, snap in, and we wanna look for group policy. We're gonna add, finish, Okay, you want to click right here at local computer policy. Then we want to click right here, administrative templates. It's going to open that up. The first thing we're going to look at is Windows components. So let's look at Windows Update. I'm pretty sure that's the one most of you guys want to get rid of. So actually, it's actually easier to see it this way. So we're going to click on Windows Update. And what you want to look for, configure automatic updates. So you want to double click that and you want to press enabled. So now that's enabled. Another thing I like to do, I want to remove all access to Windows Update features. So we're going to turn that on. We're going to press Apply. OK. So we have two enabled within this field. If there's anything else you want to get rid of, you can. So let's move this out of the way so we can read. 
and let's find that firewall. Let's get rid of the firewall. As I said earlier, I'm not going to get rid of the firewall. I need it. I'm going to show you guys how to disable it anyway. We're going to go to network. Then we're going to go and click network connections. Windows Defender Firewall. Domain Profiles. And you want to look for this one. Protect all network connections. So you want to double click that one. And you want to enable this. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to cancel that. So the next thing we want to look for is Windows Defender Antivirus. So once you find it, it's right on Windows Components. You can scroll the way down. Click right here, Windows Antivirus. You want to look for Turn Off Windows Defender Antivirus. So you double click that. Same thing. Enable. Apply. OK. Let's minimize this. And the next thing I want to do, I want to right click the start menu and I want to go to PowerShell and I'm going to type in a command. Now you can restart your computer and let all these changes take place or you can force it. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to type in GP update slash force, press enter. It's going to force the update. Computer policy update has completed successfully. Awesome. So we can exit this. So let's find out if everything worked. So we want to go to the start menu. And the first thing we want to try is Windows Update. So let's go to Update and Security. Check it out. You can't click it. It's gone. It's disabled. Now let's check out the security. Let's click right here. Page not available. So it's disabled. Your IT administrator has limited access to some areas of this app. Awesome. As you can see, your virus and threat protection is managed by your organization. It's gone. I kept the firewall for the simple reason I use a third party firewall that requires the built-in Windows one, I can deal with that. So now that we disabled the antivirus, firewall Windows update, what else can we do? You can open the task manager by control shift escape or alt control delete, but this way it's a lot easier. And you wanna come over here to startup. You wanna get rid of anything that starts up that you don't really need. I'm not gonna to touch this, it's fine the way it is. The next thing you wanna do is go back to run and you wanna type in MS config services hide all Microsoft services and disable whatever you need. As you can see, I got a couple of things disabled. If you don't check this box and you disable the wrong thing, you might find yourself having some serious issues. So don't go around disabling things you don't know. Just Google before you do. So let's get rid of this. The final thing, you wanna come right here to systems. If you're wondering how I got there so quick, start, pause break, it's gonna bring you there. That's how I do it. Next thing you wanna do, advanced system settings. You wanna make sure you at the advanced tab, performance, settings, you wanna click this option here, adjust for the best performance, press apply. I'm not gonna cover any of these options here. I have in previous videos. So look for those videos if you need those options. But other than that, I'm gonna press okay. And that's it, that simple. Now, when you watch videos like this, people show you how to optimize Windows for audio. A lot of people miss this. Let's go to this computer. And as you can see, I have a couple of hard drives here. What I wanna do, I wanna right click my hard drive, go to properties, I wanna go to tools, I wanna go to Optimize and defrag drive. I want to click that. And you want to make sure this is off. So as you can see, it has the option to turn on. You want to turn this off. So in the middle of a Pro Tools session, it might actually start to defrag your drive. You don't want that. I've actually read some articles in the past that you shouldn't really defrag your audio drive. I don't know how accurate that article was, but here's the thing. I use solid state drive. You shouldn't defrag a solid state drive. Although you might have some applications for it. I just stay away from defragging. I really never have any problems like I did with regular platter drives. When you defrag a drive, it actually puts the information closer to each other. That way the drive can find all the information a lot quicker. That makes sense with platter hard drives. With SSD, not so much. So there you go. That's how you optimize Windows for audio. So if you want to get a hold of me, check the description or check my channel. My email's always there. This is the first time watching one of my videos. Subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up, check the description, press the bell for future notifications. This is Ray and I'm out of here. Later guys.